Part of an independent body that advocates for change. Let me put So I'm not asking you to ask about. You were Minister of Information We President Koma announced austerity measures from State House. Yes. No matter you're in street quality and I am against that, I will not accept. This is not President Leo's free quality education. So the economy went bad from your own time. Disciple. You're not abused or you're yes. not in a power. I will feel it difficult for interpret the, the connotations there. As the anti-corruption commissioner, have you been approached to be compromised or corrupted in the matter you're investigating? Don't they talk about the ills of the country for years, mm -hmm. five years to election? I know them. President Bio at the time, Nabi Mumu. Welcome back um, to AYV Television on Channel 33. We the broadcast live from my studios, Natawaina Fritong. And um, we also the online www.ayvnews.com. We the stream live now Facebook page. This is um, the ad talk show, Hot Seats, the program where they talk to people in public service, um, civil society, um, private sector, senior citizens about things and where they happen at the country and waiting and think, um, say, for be, for be done, for address the things and where we face as a nation, or waiting at their own contribution as well for the development of this country. Uh, we don't get a short break, you know, we get time issues, we get housemates ready to go on. But we're back, uh, starting new episodes of this show, and um, I welcome all we viewers them from across the country and uh, across the world, especially with people on our Facebook, we always they watch we, you know, most times I can see that then they produce the program. And can tell you would have a talk to waiting for us, waiting for us. We appreciate that. And um, as always, we can get the right people and more I can request for say when I want to talk to alone, I get the opinion and waiting and think about things the way they happen. My name is Amadou Lamgana Ba, and as always, um, I get the pleasure for welcome my studio guest today. We na Andrew Kamo Kylie and uh, Andrew Kylie na an household name and somebody we um, uh, a lot of people know we, you know, every almost every other week you get for read what you need to write about social issues, governance, politics, in the country. So today we bring on a TV for can talk about the, some of the things the way they write and some of the things themselves we know can write about. And Kylie, welcome to the hot seat. It is a pleasure having you. Th thank you, Lamera. It's nice mm -hmm. to be here. You're very much welcome. Um, I, you know. Sometimes I can find it difficult to introduce you. You, 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 <laughs> you are this uh, um, consultant from the mining sector, a mining engineer, a professional yeah. as well. You are into politics. You are, you deserve almost all the newspapers them with ponder my thought article mm -hmm. almost every week. But what is it that you are enjoying? Is it at the time when you are an engineer or in politics or writing about social issues? Well, I always feel, say, uh, somebody for serve uh, society. Uh, sometimes they, the side where you can serve society, not bad, to work. Mm. Uh, but I don't think, say, you for close the door, because uh, if you get small experience, small ideas, uh, as long as it's genuine, and you feel, say, the ideas or experience go change within the happiness society, I think, say, you get uh, an obligation for impatum. Mm. So basically, uh, yes, um, I don't double into politics, mm. but right now I'm a professional with a run with engineering company, mm. uh, and also I get a passion for right. And mm. where are the right are the right for about socio-political issues. Mm. A lot they happen in our politics, we right, we no right. Mm. So a lot they happen in life, uh, society in general. So I can reflect and write reviews and make sure say, I write them as honestly as possible with the idea that when you do them, society go, at least the one the way they read, then go try for, think about it and try for change society. Is it that you're enjoying this writing so much and being an engineer that you, you they about for forget politics? People are, uh, <laughs> are forgetting Andrew Kiley as a politician now, the man who have been running mates to Dr. Kande Yumkela. It's more about, um, People looking forward to what you write for the week. What are the issues? What should they ponder on for the week as, as you write about them? 
Well, I'm still the, the very interested in politics, in that uh, politics basically in how we are governed. And uh, I think, say, me not in a parliament, mm. uh, obviously, the political season been done, done, election for can now. But uh, in the intermediary period, I mean, if you do your work, you go always reflect on political issues. So I go mm. say me, in a way, me not a political commentator as well, mm. and uh, I still active in terms of thinking about political issues. But, but it's not too active in the running um, of, yes. of the political party where you yes. being contest with or, yes. you know, like I see other politicians, them, them will yeah. come and talk about national issues openly, yeah. declare their intention yeah. and all. Well, why, why is it that? Me, not a full-time politician. Okay. Uh, yes, I've been doubling into politics. You know, from where we start when uh, Team Up for 20. 12 uh, uh, SLPP flag mm. bearer, mm -hmm. we were 19. Mm -hmm. Then we come again, we left, and we go join NGC. We team up the last election. Basically, we don't bring up a lot of people them, and uh, we associate with uh, what we really do. And I still hold the same political views we have been hold, but just that sometimes you need to forgive newer people and the chance for them to come up. You support them. Yeah. I'm still very supportive of what people they do. You, you, but you me not get into frontline politics. Well, you're still, is it that you're reversing? Because somebody go say somebody, we don't mm -hmm. contest, we want to be flag bearer. Uh -huh. Maybe we want to be lead a, a, the, one of the two major political parties and yes. for be president of the yes. country. You don't be yes. a running mate. Yeah. One, one would say you're a politician, you, you're in this. Is it that you're, you, you're, you're taking the back seats? You, you're, leaving, Not, you're planning to leave I, politics? I, I, I don't call a back seat as such, but there is what you call, I mean, if the active politics where you're in full time, mm. like the time I've been in politics, I've been here for step down from a walk, mm -hmm. uh, they pan the campaign, would they go up and down, mm. for right manifest to go up and down. But uh, right now, I'm mean, a professional, mm. but that no means uh, I don't lose my passion for politics. Mm. Just that the frontline politics, you can see support the one the way they did and uh, for career. Uh, are you still a member of the NGC? Oh, I'm yes, a I very am. active member. Yeah, yes, I am. What's your ambition with the NGC? You, oh, you, me, me own personal you, ambition. You personally, political ambition. Oh, me, me, I don't get uh, ambition for standards flag bearer or running mate, and I get that ambition. Not the NGC. Not the NGC, but mm. I still support the NGC. I'm still a member of the NGC. Mm. So, again, I, I will ask this question. Is it, yeah. you, you live in politics, the frontline politics, and just at the back seats, not wanting to contest for any position again? Well, it depends on what you call frontline politics. If the frontline politics now go contest for position, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no, I'm not uh, really interested in that. Mm. But frontline politics in terms of uh, uh, getting an impact on what happen in the country, or getting an impact on what happen within a particular political party, mm. or getting an impact in terms of uh, policies, the way they adopt. Yes, I'm very much for Is that. Is there a reason why you're moving back? Why, why, why <laughs> you think, say, you know, for contest? You know, I'm sure there are a lot of people who believe in you who might have voted, who voted for the NGC, yeah. because they believed Andrew Kiley can be a better vice president to Dr. Yumkela if he may become president. They, they're looking forward, perhaps. I read one article where they talk about um, Selun searching for its own Desmond Tutu. <laughs> Maybe you are the politician, the presidential <laughs> candidate. Of, but, but of running, not to be politician, no, no, I'm saying, my yeah, point is, maybe yeah. you are the politician, maybe yeah. you are the politician that the unions are looking forward to that they yeah. want, and now mm. you're saying you not get any plan for control. No, 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 but there are certain times, me believe in one thing, nobody not the way, no replaceable. Mm. Uh, I don't believe in but that you're kind strong. of thing. You're still no, 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 not a matter of strength. I mean, um, uh, age is uh, is um, uh, relative. Mm -hmm. I mean, I still strong, I healthy, mm -hmm. uh, idea of sound mind. Exactly. I still get a lot of ideas. Mm -hmm. I still go contribute to this country. Mm -hmm. But if you don't take and say, pass you be president or vice president before you do contribute towards uh, politics, that is wrong. Because mm -hmm. how many people will be presidential candidate or president? Mm -hmm or vice presidential candidate. Within a party where so many people defend, not just a few people. Mm. So basically, I get the idea, say, even if it is not me, I go support Huda Dede, and I go, I go give me views, and I go be very supportive, and I go try for influence what happens. Are you, you can be an influencer. Are you demotivated with, 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 with politics or say, no, I don't believe I can win an elected 
um, I, I can win an elected position. I just need for the back and support other people. No, I'm not. I'm not demotivated. I think uh, for somebody who stand once as flag bearer uh, aspirant, then the second time we we go through that whole tussle about mm. alliance, no mm. alliance, they mm. will break up go NGC. No, I'm not demotivated. I just believe say um, life not to you one grain get for B. You, you don't necessarily achieve what you want, mm. but that no means that you don't lose your ideals. I may not be a presidential candidate or president, but I can still influence a lot of things with uh, young people in this country. I can still influence a lot of things when they happen on the policy level. And also, I can still influence a lot of things when they happen at the professional level. Mm. The thing is, I get a lot of interest, mm. um, um, apart from politics, in my job, mm. I play a very active role uh, by my church business. Okay. Uh, I, I, I mean, I'm a preacher. Mm. Uh, I mean, I'm a preacher in an Anglican church. Okay. Uh, I serve the Anglican church. I do on the development board where they look after them property. Mm. Uh, I joined several social clubs then. Um, are they right? So I believe, say, within all of the inside and there, you get spheres of influence where you can bring people along uh, when I all get gel when I think in and think about how this country will develop. One thing why I'm not going to give up mm. is stop commenting on what thing they happen in Sierra Leone, whichever party they in power, and trying for influence change. You, you know, um, Dr. Kanda Yumkela, mm. old word. Mm. We <laughs> President Biobi Mitwita, I say old word. Yeah. Um, if you are approached to um, serve in any capacity, even though you know one contest for any elected position, but um, getting into government, serving in any capacity, you go old world or you go accepting and serve? Well, first of all, I get a lot of friends within the SLPP. Mm. I mean, it don't mean say because when, uh, apart from people there, we for me, people are enemies. And there are still a lot of people them we me think they get respect for me. And um, a lot of things them, even when I've been there within SLPP, you remember when uh, I serve on the Electricity mm. Bo uh, Re yeah. Water Regulatory Commission. Uh, I serve on the National Policy Advisory Committee to President mm. Kaba. Mm. We President Kurumakam. We even serve the one year. So I just believe, say, if you get <coughs> something where you can help the country with in your own small way, I don't believe, say, for begin think too much in terms of a partisan way. So I don't go close the door, say, uh, if I'm asked to serve in any capacity, probably not a political capacity, but in any capacity we go help the country and me feel, say, a competent for do that. You're uh, willing and ready? Yes, yes, I You're willing. So, yeah. You know, the NGC and the party owner form, yeah. you know, from mm. the SLPP, mm. some of the members of the NGC, we see don't they go back to yeah. the SLPP. Yeah. And um, Dr. Kande Yumkela is still old world, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, is that something you you given it? Who are you coming from, Kailao? We see mm. um, JOB is now very active in in governance. He the serve as an advisor. Mm. Um, you know, Robin Fale don't return back. Mm. Will you want to return back to the SLPP that you wanted to lead some time ago? Well, JOB never left the party. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying he's JLB active. Was always in the party. Yeah, yeah. Uh, me no get enemies within the SLPP. It's a party that I stood for. A slug bearer. Now, philosophical differences make we part ways. I mean, person don't go, go too much into that. Mm. But uh, I, I mean, in fact, a lot of the, 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 the policies that we SLPP be introduced in the manifesto, we now basically uh, they, they get another manifesto in 2018, but not too different from the previous one. We contributed towards that. So I'm not going to say I get, uh, I may disagree with what they do sometimes. I may disagree with some of the personalities in there. Mm. Uh, I may not like the way, way some of them they behave. Mm. But I believe, say, um, if, if you get for profile any advice, you go make the country go before, you not get for look too much in terms of party. Will you return if, 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 if you are asked, like um, others have been asked and get well, back? Will you return the, to the SLP? The problem you about... You say you're still a member of the NGC, by Oh, yeah, yes, I am, I'm still a member of the NGC. Mm -hmm. uh, the NGC, 
therefore make a decision on what it does mm. uh, for the next election. Mm. Uh, there are various possibilities. Uh, I believe, say, I will be part of the group we go synthesize all the information and make a decision way not only good for the NGC but good for this country. What could be that decision? Is it is it about joining an alliance or going back to the SLPP and supporting? Because we see the flag bearer, the person we run with, already they don't approach and for come back and he and he whole world. Is it you know they engage for return back? Well, the the, the, the thing is. If you then in uh, a position where like Dr. Kande Yunkelade or look, we all did the NGC party day, you get various options. You can stay as you are, as an independent party, who are going to elections. You can go with uh, one of the other major parties. Uh, you, or you can, you can get a coalition with one mm. of the other parties. Mm. Obviously, um, in making then decision and they, you they watch at not only what you are offered, but the credibility of the person where they approach you mm. and what he wants and what role you can play if you go in. Mm. Uh, you also look on the flip side at the question of if I stay alone, uh, uh, just decide, say, they make my own decision on which direction I go, is it a viable option? Mm. So obviously we don't deliberate over the anything and day, but for say, uh, we made the decision, or did not make a decision, no. But uh, may not get any objection in terms of uh, helping what gov whatever government comes to power for more okay, this country I go forward. In your opinion, between the APC and SLPP, you're a very senior NGC member. Yeah. Um, if you are to decide, we, who side you think say the NGC for go? The NGC for weigh in options very carefully. Mm. Uh, because it's one thing for be approached, uh, it's another thing for make the person we approach you minam, mm. it's another thing for make you know what role will you play in terms of uh, helping with the governance. Uh, it depends on a lot of factors where you get for we. So Migo say all them factors then they, they don't, they put some of them on the table. And uh, definitely I not believe say, you one grain for make a decision. You might make a decision on your own, say, no, I want left, I want left, and they go join SLP, and they go join APC. But um, if you don't deal with people, then I think you can also help for me synthesize their thinking so that whatever decision I can make will be the best decision for this country. Will you ask Andrew Kylie, the engineer, um, the writer, the politician, not yeah. mind the report returning back to um, the SLPP, your party? If you don't deal with party, uh, SLPP, I get a lot of friends in there. Mm. I get lots of people where they share ideas with. And um, if I tell you, say, the time where I've been there by SLPP politics, I did not enjoy my time. I would mm. lie to you. Mm. I mean, I've attended conventions there, they on strategic planning group, make a lot of decisions. So I don't have any problem with the party. I have problem with the way certain people them behave. Mm. Uh, for say, their behavior will be the same ad infinitum, it will be permanent. Mm. Uh, no, all human beings, they change. Mm. Uh, am I receptive to being talked to by any party? Of course I'm receptive. Mm. Uh, what decision will I make? It depends upon the information that comes to me. It depends mm. on how I synthesize them mm. and make a decision. Should the public be surprised if you, if you return back to the SLPP or it, sh it shouldn't be a surprise at all? Well, if, if ever I will make that, well, if you talk to me as an individual now, right? Yeah, yes. Uh, if I ever make any decision on that, I go rationalize them and I go explain mm. my decision. Okay. But I don't think, say, the public will be surprised at any decision where an individual go, mm. go, go make because mm. only God and fools don't change. And people shouldn't be surprised if the NGC supports the SLPP in the next election? People will not, should not be surprised if the NGC supports any party. Okay. Um, let me look at the things you've been writing about. Yeah. Generally, um, yeah. uh, you, you know, w w what's your general assessment of how Sierra Leone is presently less than a year to, um, you know, the national elections? The, um, political atmosphere, what's, what's your assessment? 
Well, I believe, say, the political atmosphere can be better. I believe, say, it, it poisoned at the moment. I believe, say, everything now seems to be looked at through a political lens. Uh, do I blame the government entirely for that? Uh, no. Um, the government gets a young fault. I believe, say, opposition have get a young fault. And I believe, say, also um, social media has not helped. Mm -hmm. They flame the situation all the time. Mm -hmm. And one thing where me no, no, I, I, I really am um, not happy about in the country, now the fact that you not ever know which news is not true, which one is mm -hmm. false. Because there is so much trash put out there, and the government has really not done a very good job of uh, explaining itself on certain issues. And when you know, explain yourself, when you know, explain issues to people, then you left everything to imagination. People can interpret them their your way. So you can't expect a reasonable man when you know, rationalize things to him. Mm. He can't just believe everything way they say if you've not made a good point of explaining it. Mm. And also sometimes the, the message is as good as the messenger. You know, some of the messenger, the way the government they use for propagate information, I don't get too much confidence in them, and I don't so much as say that. Mm -hmm. And I believe, say, the government can do a better job of that. And, and talking about, you know, mm. the messenger, mm. um, yeah, I can recall an article with you guys about, mm. you know, um, President Bill in the shuffle we we, we been do. Mm -hmm. uh, but with, with this, recently, um, mm. a week or so ago, mm. we see Alaji Alpha Khan, Mm. You know, we still say he's a member of the APC. Mm. We they serve as um, minister, resident mm. minister, not first region. Mm. He's now the spokesman for the president. I, I, are you surprised at that decision? Especially when you just mentioned about the messenger. Do you think he's a good messenger for the president for explaining what the presidents they do and don't they do in the past four years? Well, I, I, I really gave a comment on the recent changes, mm -hmm. especially with uh, Alpha Khan and I don't say you know actually was but mm -hmm. I left for mention mm -hmm. that as well. Um, I, I hate to say this, Alpha Khan is a personal friend. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a mining engineer. Mm -hmm. uh, we study England at the same time, around the same time. I use him, he's a very nice person, mm -hmm. very smart, very intelligent. Mm -hmm. uh, in politics, it don't move here, it don't move here, and that's fine. No, no, there's no problem. But me, they say, if you are appointing a presidential spokesman, you know, for go appoint somebody who don't be presidential spokesman for the previous government where you, they say, then commit egregious crimes. Mm. I mean, if the man, they've been, they talk about, with passion about waiting the last president they do and waiting and write and talk against the SFP. With all due respect, I know they say not give position, mm. but for go say na him you they go appoint for be spokesman for you, mm -hmm. uh, you want to say SSPP so bereft of, of, uh, of um, credible, competent people. But I mean, then I want to know one about SSPP. SSPP has a lot of competent the, the people. The Maobi they serve that position, Yusuf yeah. Keketo Masandi, yeah. says mm. this is a show of national cohesion. It doesn't mean where you're from, which tribe you be, or which party you did. The presidents, they draw other people them from other political parties, other tribes, for come, for come work with them. With, uh, with all due respect, that, na, 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 not a, that disingenuous statement, small mm. bit. I mean, you know, say, not other, other positions than they. Mm. Are not there against them giving him another position, like when I be resident minister. Mm. But for say, he is the chief spokesman. For, the for you as president, mm -hmm. I think, uh, it, it, first of all, two things. One, it shows that, uh, as I mentioned, the message is as good as the messenger. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, is he the right messenger? Uh, what, what, do the, yes, what do I, you think? I don't think he's the right messenger. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I like him. I think he's smart. Mm -hmm. But there are issues of credibility. But I've been on day with him. We don't talk before. He's not the right. And a, a presidential spokesman for really be the guy where they talk credibly now, now like the president in alter ego. Mm. So, uh, so, so, so are you saying there is no credibility? In, in well, it's it got difficult if he says something for make you take him saying a spin mm. or they actually speak the truth. Mm. I'm not saying he's a dishonest person, but mm. I'm just saying with the other position where we don't hold before. 
Then secondly, the, the message where they send out is that within the whole SLPP, mm. we get capacity. So me, I know about SLPP capacity. Mm. SLPP is not short of capacity. Mm. Forget about we the rebel and we go mm. or what mm. SLPP is not short of capacity. Mm. So should the president be looking further afield within a young party? I think yes. I think there are lots of competent people, not only for that position, but even the way where they make the appointments them. In mm. my own opinion, it should not just be based on who that you don't sabi or who that be support you. Or mm. I, I don't say they try for Richard now. He's making amends, okay. and I'm glad for that. Mm. But that is one basic thing in that probably he's been just looking at who that they close to me, maybe they talk for me. Uh, if, the, if the message is not going well, let me look for somebody that Extra. has done it well But, but what is about politics as well? Alpha Khan comes from the north, and, and, and uh, there is that uh, bridging the gap and the I divide. I have nothing wanting, against wanting bridging vote. the gap. I have nothing against assimilating him. As I said, he's my friend, mm. and I think he's very smart. But you think the president, the choice I, was I think important. as presidential spokesman, I would not have put him as presidential spokesman. You, you, you passively mentioned, um, mm. uh, you know, the Inspector General, the former Inspector General of Police, yeah, Ambu yeah, Sovola. Yeah, yeah. uh, are you surprised he's gone? Well, I'm not surprised he's gone, but I'm surprised he was appointed in the first place. Why? <laughs> I mean, look, he's a very senior police officer. We know, we know the hierarchy in a police. He mm. was not among the top four, five, maybe they take That does not mean you don't go promote people them. Mm. Then secondly, I happened to have worked very closely with some seasoned policemen. When I was chairman of NASIT, I worked with Acha Kamara. He was representing the forces on the NASIT board. Every time I get important decision for me, at the big Acha Meki Canada meeting, because he was such a seasoned manager. These guys were kid did with them in train, they went and did causes in management, in strategic planning, in other things them. And the, the police had respect. You 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 start to make appointments them slowly, you, you whittle down the 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 competence of the people the way they hold the position. So obviously, I mean I don't get anything against Mr. Sovula, I don't even know him, but I mm. mean the the fact that it wasn't it, it fit for that position. Of, it become a source of parody now, mm, I mm. mean, in, in social media and mm -hmm. uh, some of the decisions he made. I, I believe that um, um, the, the president, and it goes down to the way we appointments were made. Mm. I believe, say, yes, loyalty is, is a good thing, but I believe that sometimes you can also have people that are loyal but are competent for the position. So, you know, I, I want to ask you about President Bill and your appointment then. Yeah. You, you know, you, you just mentioned that. The, you, yeah. you know the SLPP. You, yeah. you believe you know, get, the SLPP gets a lot of competent people yeah. we go serve in different positions. Yeah. Do you think the, the last time Omar interviewed him, yeah. he said he, he will appoint people he knows, people he's comfortable with, people he believe able to push your agenda. What in general you think about in appointments? People were serving in different positions. How will you assess, it, assess his cabinets? Well, um, in one of the articles where I write recently, mm -hmm. where I said President Bill should speak to the nation with a still small voice of mm -hmm. calm, mm -hmm. I quote some observation with Banjati Jansibi make. He was ex secretary general of the party. And it was very critical about the way appointments have been made. Mm -hmm. That now people the way down Sabi, probably in the diaspora, we come, who had supported him, we've been there close to Ram. Yeah, you can do that. There's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with that. But when it becomes the, 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 the rule, I mm -hmm. mean, when uh, most of the appointments them are seemingly based on that, mm -hmm. and when you put people in a position who probably are not the most fitted, I mean, you know, tell me, say, you know, know more people within the party. President Bill don't know a lot of people within the party. He knows but everybody. Is it about trust as well? Is it about having the right people? It, the people yeah. where you believe, say, you go. are not going to have hundred percent people where where you trust. Uh, if you the best leadership just on trust, it's not going to happen. People have their job descriptions. They perform well or they don't perform well. Mm. When President Kaba won. He brought all his uh, opponents into cabinet. Samabanya, uh, Saliagbao, Harry Will, the, the man and they team up against them, Harry Will and uh, Samabanya, they all team up against him. He made them ministers, right? But then it bring about party unity. Then when it went along, the one that went not performed, they fell by the wayside. 
He appointed other people. He started reaching out. Mm. But at least he made that point, they say, let me look within, further within the party. Loyalty, trust, they are good uh, ingredients, the good uh, attributes of, 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 of a good leader, may you, uh, compare, may you look at loyal people. But you can also, if the person in job described, mm. you take somebody as a minister, you take them as uh, some top MDA, mm. you can tell by performance whether it they carry out your mandate. He may not have liked you, but if they do the job, and so what? You know, then I mean, there are certain things sometimes the man not being get confidence in you it, because he was supporting them, uh, somebody yeah. else, yeah. and they get right for support somebody else. But when he come, he see the way where he behave as a leader, he don't like you. Mm. People can change their minds about you. So, so, so is it that you think President Bill has not been getting his appointments right in the past four years? I think he has made some good appointments, and I think, say, in a lot of things, say, he means well. But I think mm -hmm. that, um, and I've always said this, but the box stops with the leader. There are people around him who are gatekeepers. Mm. And these gatekeepers, they've been looking at my loyalty test. This man not been there with me. This man, this uh, who side them in there, who side them come out. And that is even within the party. Mm. And let me tell you something one of the other time. One of the things that we're happy about recently, that the appointment of J.O.B. as advisor, I think is a good thing. Mm. I mean, me and J.O.B., I mean, Kyle and brother will not always agree, but I know say, na somebody who don't get a lot of experience, and he sacrificed a lot for that party, and he keep able, he's not a yes man. Mm. The thing we're glad about, Ingo glad he forgot to tell President Biose, this is not going right. I think mm. Senator so would do. Rather than you get some other people, them as advisor, them way, then they tell you what you want. And you think those are the people, the president, the people who go tell and things. Say I think this so. Is, this, I think this. so. Not everything is going right. Mm. And I think that that if President Bill appoints you, you get an obligation to tell him the truth. What's your relationship with President Bill? Good. Yeah. Um, president Bill, I uh, get a lot of respect for him. Um, all the problems where me being get personally within SFPP has never been personally with President Bill. Mm -hmm. He's a very respectful person. Something happened between me and in a bow one time where uh, he phoned me and apologized for something where happened where mm -hmm. I said, oh, this man, not too much in have been things say he be. And when we work within SLPP, we were all on the strategic planning group. When I was chairman of the manifesto committee, any decision we make, I they go I deliberate over him because he had to, to sell the ideas. Um, we we talk, and I believe say um, he is he, a listening person. I not believe waiting and go talk say he don't listen because even when we've been there, when the day I didn't at the strategic planning group, when I bring an issue come, if I'm not happy with him, I they go tell him, and I could see he was listening. So could it be that? You have people within Whitfield say, mm. they for always tell I'm waiting in one year. But the box stop with him, like, like well, you would the, the other day. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He should so, take so responsibility, he yeah. appoints people. The president should understand. Do I you think he's you. in charge, he's in control, even well, with having those people where you think say... Well, he, he's obviously in control mm. because he get the right for hire and fire. Mm. If we ever get rid of anybody, nobody know they were in position safe now. But does it that he do, he's not aware of what is happening? Some of the things you are highlighting. Well, uh, being a leader, is not easy, it's difficult. Um, you get a lot of information, they come to you. Uh, one of the things that we have mentioned, I've been in a one forum where they discuss the, the various management uh, uh, steps that we presidents they take. President Kaba had a very good system. I was on his National Policy Advisory Committee. All cabinet papers, they go through we. Mm. We they review them, we give with views, and he accepted 85% of MPS's views. And the good thing about that is an alternative voice. If you left something, you go cabinet, one minister go with something, in company not come up here now. The supporter. Yeah, because when you say you can come up here, you. Mm. You know, I mean, you have to have alternative viewpoints mm. within that same system. And I think President Bio for make sure say you President Bio gets advisors. Uh, he gets, he gets Mami Kuna, he gets um, Ambassador Bond Wuri. He gets um, J.O.B. now with the retirement. I'm sure he's got, you know, people who they advise him. You believe they're playing their part? They're playing their own role? 
Because these are the people I'm sure who speak to him, to, to the president, and what, what things are, what, what's happening in the country. I don't mean ad hoc advice and go, yeah, I'm going to listen to that person, do this and that. It will be structured advice. Mm. Where you been get like uh, NPC, National Policy Advisory Council. Now, advice actually based on reviewing cabinet papers. Now, advice based on actually coming up with new new policy policy uh, issues and uh, looking at something like unemployment in Sierra Leone, mm. synthesizing that issue, talking to so many people, and come up with advice for the president. Mm. Say this is what you do. Um, I, I believe say that independent advice and giving you bad news. I don't think he has it. If, if you had to speak with the president, I yeah. don't know where last one I speak, um, yeah. what, what will you say to him? What will you tell him? I always tell and say, um, we, we are in SAPP together. We had our differences. But you know, we need a president. We're always ready for, in whatever little way, for serve you for profile advice on any issue where you feel say they with him with competence. I've always told him that. But for say I get opportunity like I see something wrong for go sit down with him and discuss. No, I mean no, if you have to I talk to him had, now with, uh, with the, you know, say one pick on your idea on things. What, what do you think, what the immediate thing you think President Bill should do to address some of these things you've highlighted? Well, not only with me, but I just believe say he should open up and listen to alternative advice. Mm -hmm. Is it that other people are not having access to him? You think other people voice their voices? Well, me no say me get me being a problem for get access, for example. Okay, to the president? Yes, because they are gatekeepers. Mm, they stop you. Yeah. Well, they're not stop me physically, but uh, if if you are for see president, you don't have that uh, leeway easily mm. to say, oh, fix appointment. Mm. I want to talk to this mm. man on mm. an issue. Mm. There are several issues. Otherwise, uh, he's a good man. Uh, we were very friendly we were there within SLPP. I mm. have nothing against him. And he's always told me that uh, me not be one of the people away they get along with Obi mm. on strategic planning group. So I have no I would have welcomed that opportunity once in a while, say, well, just have a chat about what is happening within the country and mm. uh, not that I'm right, with you we own limited capability. Tell him for example mm. about uh, a few things where I believe say in my own opinion should be looked at. And, and, and one will wonder, perhaps, he should be reading your, your articles. He should be reading Ponder My Thought, because um, in as much as you write on the issue, sometimes you provide recommendations yes, and, yes. and explain how things should be done. Well, the, the, the idea about Ponder My Thoughts, uh, we, I, I, I wouldn't change what they do. Some people then don't say, oh, blast government, mm -hmm. or press government, or do that. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do that. I will write what is the truth. And I don't go right time from an impractical point of view. I go right time for say, at the end of it all, I want to prefer advice. And even that advice, it might be say, myself not right. But it might just be advice for say, ponder it, think about it, think through, and see whether what me they suggest makes sense or probably not makes sense. Like this one where you've been right, you yeah. know, um, mm. on, on hardship. You see, um, mm. uh, Adship, government should not be ashamed of its batting um, <laughs> pocket. There is a Mende saying, yeah. Lumu be, Wufe boom, Bumwa Vajima. Lamra, I don't see that's a good talk, man. <laughs> you, go, you go mention that. Lumu be, Wufe boom, Mwa Vajima. Ah, okay. It literally means um, one should not be ashamed of his or her batting bucket. This is yeah. so true. After all, your batting bucket sees your nakedness all the time. So why should you be shy in its presence? Yeah. Are we how well we will come back to this. Mm. But do you write these things having in mind that the president might read this or someone might read them and, and, and speak to the president? Because you were talking about the president honing up about, mm. about the economic situation, the hardship yeah. in the country, yeah. and, and mm. see ways how they could be addressed. Yes, I believe that um, sometimes you gain by being honest. Um, it's okay, everybody knows that there is a global, um, the global uh, situation that's affecting our economy, not only us, all, mm. all African states, in fact. Um, everybody knows that uh, the parallel state of our economy. But when you, 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 you they always write, like say, everything now, glory, uh, mm. oh, we don't do this, we don't talk and do another, mm. all the positive aspect. 
But once in a while, it's nice for level with people and tell them what's not the truth. However, when they tell them what's not the truth, men and see say, you get empathy for them by your own actions, either in terms of what you do, you spending and other things, and, or your actions in terms of taking steps for say, we'll get for self sufficient a little bit in this area, in that area, and so on. Then people will understand. But I make have been saying, no, 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 um, the 2023 elections. In one of his statements, they may say um, he don't do over 90% of his manifesto. He don't, he don't able to achieve. And he just mentioned the talk and do mantra where they go around and all. Do you think he's done more and uh, it will be easy for him in 2023? Well, it will be difficult for me. Uh, okay, where well, you, all, all of that percentage business, I don't believe in them. That is a lot of political talk. Mm. And a lot of things that we can reach in a manifesto. <coughs> um, it can be idealistic as well. It's difficult when you don't get into governance. You see, say, you don't have the resources to do that. The manpower, they again, a lot of people in the way they scuttle the system. Mm -hmm. So I can see a case whereby any government will come, not only President Bill, you go surprised at what you see. Uh, yes, obviously, he's done well in certain areas. I mean, um, education, other areas as well, you don't do well. I mean, mm. you, you, you can't begrudge him that. Mm. But there are areas where, where things are not really going mm. too well. And I believe, say, um, it, it can, it's never too late to change them things and, they, and, and, and the personnel way they're in charge of the thing and they, the, the policies, uh, you can always tinker with them. You, you know, so far, the two main contenders they would all see for the 2023 elections, mm. um, we, we see Dr. Samura Kamara, yeah. um, we in one of the aspirants, and don't show interest of leading the APC. Mm. And President Bill is already endorsed as the flag bearer mm. of the SLPP. Mm. What do you think, say, 2023 elections get for be about? With, with possibly, if we get um, then two candidates here for one for the presidency, which other candidates them as well? Well, the APC not doing they're not doing yeah. convention it, and mm. there are other people vying. Mm. Mm. But um, I know Dr. Samura personally also. Mm. He's a, an incredible person. Mm. He's a good person. Mm. Um, I believe, say, part of the problem also with leadership, you they also look at the leader in attributes, but then you they look at the 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 circumstances surrounding that leader, mm. the party where they in, whether they go straddle them, whether they go alarm for do what you want to do, uh, the amount of people that where they wait for may give them jobs, not necessarily based on competence, mm -hmm. but because of what they do for a party. So a leader, you get a lot of hard decisions to make. Mm. And you get to really, really be strong when you come to power. So to me, I think the, the, the voters go make their decision. We, 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 do you think mm -hmm. the elections next next year will be about critical issues? Or you, we, we just recently, Dr. Samoa Kamara was making a statement to say a lot of people come against him and, and condemn the statement of um, you know SLPP only employing people of their own tribe and we in Camino go do that and all that. Do you think it will be about? the usual tribal rhetorics and division, or it will be based on issues? People will want to hear those campaign messages. Well, for we went on double into politics, we don't fed for them positions. We know that, uh, yes, the issues then count. Uh, then go we'll listen to the issues. But by and large, if um, you're surprised if I know, say, a lot of people in certain areas, now fix it. Mm. You go put green naya na in the wind. You go mm. put red naya na in the wind. Mm. And a lot of people live in when you sell you message of hope, message of policies that we go adopt, message by which you go do for young people. They, they, you can see they buy it. But when, they, when it gets to elections, they still go and vote for their traditional parties. Mm. I mean, why was uh, NGC surprised that we... we, we we relatively portioned um, 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 less than the expectation we we we, we will be feel uh, when you thought that campaign and you message go to people them. so the issues yes they are important but this politics of tribe politics of region politics of now uh, party this it is still there mm, and although the, although the younger people are changing somehow. Mm. And also urbanization, they change and somehow, but not as drastic as you go want. 
if if mm. if mm. if Dr. Samoa Kamara is the mm. running mate, is yeah. the flag bearer for the APC, yeah. and President B already is the flag bearer of the SLPP. Mm. Um, if ponder my thought is to mm. um, do a pool, mm. what what percentage of winning? How will you think will win the next election? Uh, well, I'm not doing the business of okay. First of all, the election. You mean the presidential or parliamentary? Yes, the presidential election. Well, presidential election, of course, President Bill will be judged by his record, mm -hmm. um, which is all for us to see. Mm. Uh, Samura Kamara got a past record, but it will be judged mainly by what he say. And mm. um, I, I believe, say, the country polarized. Mm. And the, 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 the views of the electorate then difficult for, for, for George, and there is still enough time for make um, because President Bill still has another year in mm, power. Mm. The party can still do a lot of things um, uh, positive, we go influence people them. At the same time, he can do a lot of things, we can mess them up. Mm. So I, I don't go let for be a soothsayer. Okay. Um, I go say, may the best man win. Will it be a tense election, you think? Yeah, I believe, say, judging from waiting, we don't see the happen this past few months, the by-election, the mm. other rhetoric, the parliament, other things. Um, uh, judging by the passion of people and judging by even the uncertainties in the voting process, mm -hmm. the PR, the PR, uh, the new boundary the delimitation, the another mm. drum, mm. they go use the old sensors, mm. they go use the new sensors. Um, different, different things um, were bound for great schisms. It's not going to be easy, but more could just say the parties will talk to the young people for make them not bring anything, we will mess up the country. Yeah, I know you know Dr. Kanda Imkela better than, than, than I, and yeah. uh, some other people possibly. Yeah. Um, you know, there is, there is this talk about him, um, he says he's still old world. <laughs> um, coming back to the SLPP, would you want to see him contest for the flag bearer position um, with, with the NGC or uh, perhaps another um, capacity in the next election? Well, that, in, that is a decision for him to make. I'm just asking your own opinion. In terms of within the NGC, I think um, then people still owe oh, I mean, him with reverence. They, 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 they like him. He's mm -hmm. done well in parliament. Uh, he could be a good leader of this country. Mm. But the NGC, as I mentioned to you at the start of the program, um, therefore weighing options and think about, do we go it alone? Um, if we go in alone, do we stand a chance as mm. a third party? Probably most people will say, oh, third party not go just can't win, so it will take a long time. Or do I pitch my tent with any of these two? Mm. And uh, as I say, that is a process that has to be rationalized. and. I would like for things say if Dr. Yunkela are part of a, <coughs> a group, obviously he would like to, whatever he decides, take along people with that decision. So now the process of rationalizing should, should, the should, should, should the NGC members or um, you know the public not be surprised if Dr. Yunkela um, serve in any capacity as running mates to any of um, perhaps the major contenders for the election? Well, it depends on on what in the parties themselves want. Mm. Uh, if a party considers, say, the way to get Dr. Yumkela and his team in, now by offering him some things substantial before the election, that is a, that may be an option. Mm. If at the other time he say, well, we've is already that an, got... Is that an option you're thinking no, no. about presently? As, no, as no, 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 I, I just <coughs> talking in a hypothetical way mm. now. Uh, if, uh, if so but all, is that one of the things, Emona, they think, say, if we join an, an alliance with any party, this should be the offer we want, we want our request for? No, okay. The, the major thing is, if you join an alliance with any party, it will be, say, the views and aspirations of the S we want to get as uh, SLP, uh, NGC as an entity, they will be carried through by that party because mm. now and that could be if, then that could be if 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 Unayon leader go in and, and serve in an elected uh, position or serve in a very senior capacity, so it will influence some of them decision. And well, then one option, but it can be said the option is also just go in mm. with no preconditions. Okay. But, but the option of, of having your presidential candidate as a running mate in any of the party not dinner at the table presently. 
Me not going to do that. It's left with the NGC for the side. Okay. And um, uh, other people then go make that decision. Quickly, as we as we try for for round up. Mm. Um, the, there's this debate about mm. the PR system and mm. the first pass the post. Mm. A lot of opinions about it. What's, mm. your, what's your opinion as, as, as the debates they continue? I, I think it's a very healthy debate. I don't listen to several people, very, very smart people. Abraham Tommy, Julius Spencer, different people, Marcella. They, and um, they all, um, and, and Rulavali, I don't listen to all, and they all write about what they're saying. I mean, we can't be too divided. There are merits and the demerits of each system. But what you make it always they say, at this stage, I get more problem with the internal party mechanisms of the parties mm. than whatever electoral system. Mm. Because I don't think within SLPP, for example, where then they choose candidates them, where um, most parties then choose candidates, where then the, the people at the bottom then compromise the mm. one the way they vote. Mm. Maybe the chairman they say where they go run their election and then they don't give them money. And sometimes they're discriminative in against women. I don't mm. see enlightened people. They say, oh, this side, Kalea, na, 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 the front line of mm. politics will mm. not go put woman there. Mm. You know, so the parties, they not get good mechanism. If they get good mechanism, we, we should not be losing about 75% of the MPs at each election. And I always give one, one, one good, some good example. There was Brian Commander, for example. He was a good MP, but they still kicked him out. I mean, by any yardstick, if the party them in the... They, they appraise them people in, the, in terms of performance, the mm -hmm. parliament, mm -hmm. the West African parliament, highly qualified with the PhD, mm -hmm. well talk well for the party, but they still boot every now. And of recent so, times, we, we had honorable Parant Sarawali who did it yeah, on. Yeah, so mm -hmm. people, people, they know, the, the women and the judge and the MPs and whatnot, the internal party mechanism is wrong. Okay. So whether you get PR system or first pass the post, if you're First of all, choosing the wrong people. If you have no yardstick for judging people, if you are discriminating against women, it's not going to be the same. Okay, and, and, and we don't get a new elections bill, even though there is this talk about, um, you know, there is still mm. women's empowerment into it, but the 30% mm. safe seats where the women and they ask for, yeah. we don't get them. And the dual mm. citizenship, we, mm. um, on our NGC as a party, mm. been on the uh, push for mm. as well, they're not even debate them. Um, mm. Is that not something that is not, I know you, you support women's empowerment a lot. Mm. Is that yeah. not something that is not progressive that we've got? As well, a you know, I guess something against parliamentarians. I can always say, talk is don't vote for Christmas. Mm. The, 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 I mean, like, one of the things um, about that six months, that resignation, six yeah, months six resignation months, yeah. and whatnot. Mm. Because he said they're going to vote against them because they know how many people they're going to challenge them. <laughs> I mean, so now a lot of personal, in my own opinion, uh, there are some good MPs, but a lot of personal considerations came into their decision making. Because for uh, remove the thing about the, the gender issues, mm. for the, the stop people then from overseas from voting, mm. when well, we all been on to talk about this issue, I think it's, it's just personal considerations. Okay. Um, Engineer, I want to end on this note. Um, mm. I read this at this point that I thought we write about mm. your friend, Tunde Cool. Yeah. In, in building, you still remind them about yeah. the, 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 the <laughs> ride we've been given, you know. Um, you you know, for payments. Yes, yes. Mm. You know, I read the other one about, mm. you know, how it's challenging for a nation yeah. to have someone like Desmond Tutu. Yeah. That's person where the nation will look up to, we will mm. come out and speak with a voice, we get credible, um, you know, voice where everybody could listen to. Yeah. Uh, Tunde Cole is, is engineer. Tunde Cole is not a politician, but yeah. you know, you explain how much he showcases hard work mm. and somebody can achieve and give back to society. Yeah. Why, why is it that it's difficult for we forget somebody like him in, in in politics? You know, that that kind of person we get some level of credibility where everybody will look up to. We will be role model as well. Well, I, I know I know I'm very well become a personal friend, but and, and I know say then we don't brush the idea about appointments and not not mm -hmm. I'm not gonna talk with time, but I mean they don't brush up. But then the what you have a look at is had he ap accepted those kind of appointments, mm. then for don't ten time with uh, politics, it probably for no appear in a commission because we support this plan. Mm -hmm. I mean we'll politicize everything. Mm. What Tunde Cole shows is that you can live a life outside politics. And they're not able to turn time with any political thing. He's done what, by dint of his hard work, 
And also the, the spur on our own as a country, as a government for say, ah, if we can support that company, they rise up so somebody they don't do so mm. well personally. Mm. Why can't we support other private sector yeah. concerns? Mm. But I'll tell you something, I come from the private sector now. Mm. Government people in the way then they they not care about private sector. A lot of them. Not it's not a party thing. Mm. Then can they they not they not care. Then oh, the man they, they make money, yeah, mm. man, they come on, they mm. on, do this to them. It is very difficult surviving in the private sector. So. How, how do we build more tunde calls in, in How do you think? We build more tunde calls by giving opportunities to Sierra Leoneans, right? By giving opportunities to Sierra Leoneans to participate into business. Unwittingly, the MPRC government towards the tail end and then start mm -hmm. to negotiate with MP. Mm -hmm. The SFP candidate, mm -hmm. Solomon Berrow and I end the negotiations with them. They gave opportunities to Sierra Leoneans to own that company. Then come. NP don't rise above the fray, but all the problem where other companies mm. and don't lock, they steal, yeah. they come, they mm. don't make money. Mm. There are still a few Sierra Leoneans so they do well. Uh, I think say, even, and I go like for mention this, alumni associations. Mm. You know, look what in St. Joseph's girls they don't do. Yeah. Eh? They each branch, they take a floor of that building, they, they don't done that building. Yeah. Look what yeah. they are the ones do for their mm. school. Look what in grammar school they do. But we for they encourage people them, Encourage alumni associations, maybe give them tax breaks where they yeah. want for do certain things. Them yeah. encourage Sierra Leoneans the way they come into business, mm. especially a niche business, a business like CSE in Senegal. Mm. Now Senegalese company government now is spawning on for men and come on. Mm. Now they're not turn. And they're getting only contact here. Yeah. <laughs> so why can't we do that? Mm. I mean, we're not going to take up. You take somebody say, ah, we no one support is, this is guy. Is it because we, poli we businessmen and some of them are into politics uh, as well? No. They get Even <laughs> if you are not into politics, they suspect you. I got a friend who is not into politics. They have a big businessman. But every time when they want help out something, somebody go whisper something. Say another party. Not, not on now, the other, <laughs> then, oh, another party. They, if he be, he belong to this tribe or this party, if you happy for help him, mm. he get money in and then they support everything we wear a political lens on yeah. it. And I think that's the basic problem. Sadly, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Um, in yeah. Engineer, most people yeah. with the Canada show, I can mm. ask them, especially mm. possibly get for do politics about mm. um, rating President Bionis government mm. um, with four years. Mm. Um, if you're to rate over 100, how much will you say he's, he's done so far? Uh, you know, percentage, I don't let killer for you percentage because all depend on circumstances. Mm. I can tell you about ministries. Mm -hmm. A ministry, you can get a good minister, he can do, then in subvention way for getting money, way for, uh, probably the first quarter money, in the second mm -hmm. quarter they get up. Mm -hmm. Then it depends again on who that and gear for work with. So <coughs> I would say in certain areas he's done well, mm -hmm. in certain areas he could do better, in other areas he's not done Is well. Is that above 50? Well, uh, <laughs> me not a teacher, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I, don't, I don't like for a failed person. Yeah, president, yeah, he has done his best okay. in his own little way, but I think he could do better. Okay, thank you very much, yeah. Engineer Andrew Kiley, for thank your time, you. um, for joining me on the show um, mm. today. And um, mm. we still they look for it more ponder my thoughts. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Sam. Uh, uh, and you continue uh, to write? Yes, we'll continue to write. Right. Yeah, continue that day I'm going to stop. Yes, we look yeah. forward to ponder my yeah. thoughts every yeah. week. I think yeah. it's, it's, it's one of the things that we, mm. and by the way, they share with me, and <laughs> we can get the pleasure <laughs> for forcing it down before we go to the papers. So, yeah. but well, thank you very much yeah. for all you're doing. Thank and you, and um, you. like someone said, mm. You might not be Desmond Tutu as the, mm. the, the um, you know, the Christian person or mm. the bishop, mm. but to a lot of Sierra Leoneans, you are Desmond Tutu. Mm. You are that, that person that they look up to, read mm. what you say and mm. believe that mm. this is an independent mm. and, and unbiased and genuine opinion. So thanks for all you're doing. Thank you very much. Lamar. Thank you very Thank much, you. Indeed, Jeannie yeah. and Okele. Now we'll stop, uh, we go end our seats today. Thanks to all we viewers them. For an attempt, thanks to the guests, thanks to the technical and um, team for the support to the program. Mm -hmm. So, meet back, me and Amadola Manaba continue for watching YV. We are chairman of Renaissance, and Renaissance was considered to be an independent body that advocates for change. Let me put it down. So, I'm not asking you to ask about. You we are, we are Minister of Information, where President Koma announced austerity measures from State House. Yes. 
No matter if you're in spiritual identity. And I am against that. I will not accept. This is not President Bio's free quality education. So the economy went bad for me on time. Is you in a BOE or yes. you know, in a PAUPA? I will feel and difficult for interpret the, the connotations there. Day. As the anti-corruption commissioner, have you been approached to be compromised or corrupted in the matter you're investigating? Don't they talk about the ills of the country for years, mm -hmm. five years to election? I know them. President Bio at the time, Nabi Mumu. Watching AYV Television.